Hello. Welcome to our channel. Today we're going to explain how to start your boating lifestyle. This video will be your ultimate guide in your very first steps. Before you start, it will help answer a few important questions. Before we discuss other topics, let's understand why people find the boating lifestyle so attractive. Boating provides a special feeling of freedom, relaxation, and excitement. It's an ideal way to break away from your daily routine. Being on the water, making lasting memories, and seeing beautiful sights is a unique experience. It can also boost your confidence and expand your knowledge about important things like sea communication, navigation lights, rescue methods, and important maritime laws like Coleridge 72 and Marpole. Boating is meant for everybody, and the biggest fans of this hobby are nature lovers, thrill seekers, and adventurists. Courage, responsibility, and patience are preferred qualities. Ability to swim is desirable, but not mandatory. Did you know that most sailors, up until the late 19th century, could not swim? At that time, they excused themselves that the best sailors are ones who can't swim, because they will do anything to keep the ship from sinking. But, it seems that it didn't work as planned, one in seven vessels that left port, disappeared or were known to be lost. Another unpleasant aspect could be seasickness. But don't worry if you suffer from it. At the beginning almost everyone experienced it. This hobby is exquisite in all life stages, starting from young children and ending with reputable seniors. Over 150,000 kids all over the world sail in an Optimist-class sailboat, which is considered as the most popular sailing class in the world. Now let's talk about choosing the right boat. This is a crucial step, and there are various options to consider, starting from kayaks and ending with huge yachts. Each vessel is meant for different purposes. You'll want to pick a boat that suits your needs and preferences, whether it's for fishing, cruising, water sports, or all the above. Before you buy your own boat, mind the chance to rent one. Remember that in the starting point, you don't need too fancy or big boat, so accept the size which is just enough to catch the main idea. If there is an opportunity, each time switch the vessel's models so that you learn to control different types. Also, think if you want to work in a team or prefer solo. In the first case, a sailboat might be an excellent choice because there are many positions captain, navigator, mainsail trimmer, foresail trimmer. They need to cooperate well to get the best speed and provide safety. Sailboats are suited for crossing seas and can accommodate many people, depending on the boat's capacity. The largest yacht existing is a superyacht called Sailing Yacht A. Its length is 142.81 meters or 468.5 feet, and it can hold up to 54 members. In contrast, on one-person crafts, you are responsible for all of that for yourself. The most well-known such vessels are kayaks, canoes, and paddle boats. Kayaks and canoes are small, narrow watercrafts made from hard plastics and are typically designed for one to four paddlers to sit in and propel themselves through the water using paddles. They are quite versatile and suitable for rivers or lakes. Besides, you can travel relatively long distances with these crafts, especially rowing downstream. To get more adrenaline, you can row along rapid rivers or try routes in Norway, Greenland or Antarctica. It is an adorable feeling to be close to massive ice blocks and float through that quiet environment. When you have decided what kind of sailor you want to be, it is time to find someone who could help you. It is not a very good idea to launch on your own without knowledge. To sail actively, you neither need a pleasure craft operating license nor a boat. Start with a short trip together with an experienced friend and try to collect as much information as possible. Ask everything what you would like to know and offer your assistance whenever you can, even if it seems that your teacher can handle the ship. The only way to obtain skills is by doing necessary actions. Join a local boating group to get more diverse training. Certainly there should be one around, if you live near the water. This approach will not only enable you to explore a wider variety of watercrafts, but also help you make new friendships. Soon, involve your whole family and show them how exciting boating is. Convince them about the benefits and show that it is an excellent way to spend time. Often boating activities are used as a team-building challenge for large business firms or student companies. Generally speaking, you can go boating anywhere where you find water. 
To truly unlock the magic of your journey, note listed factors that can elevate your aquatic experience. Weather conditions are the key for a charming jaunt. That means, in order not to feel freezy, pick a warm summertime day with light winds. Make it a habit to check the weather forecast before all your launches. The meteorologic situation can change so quickly that you won't even notice how a peaceful, sunny afternoon can turn to a stormy, rainy evening. It is not prohibited to boat in the dark at night. Though, it is a completely distinct situation, the only way to navigate and to recognize obstacles is to read the navigation lights. At the same time, it is a bit complicated, especially for novices. So, to avoid extreme or terrifying moments, select daytime and return to shore before sunset. According to your vessel, choose the eligible aquatorium. With tiny boats, it is dangerous to voyage far at the sea, in the meantime, a regular sailboat or powerboat might appear too big for a narrow canal. For more exciting adventures, head to the top sailing countries in the world, Croatia, Greece, Italy, Thailand, and many others. Everything around us deals with safety, but have you ever wondered how safety is provided in waters? Well, there is no one answer. This is a solid question. Safety was a serious problem in the very beginning of the boating era. Since then, a lot of time, resources, and money has been invested to bring advanced solutions. The simplest security means are life jackets, life buoy, and whistles. The first life jacket was made in 1854, and its material was a cork. Nowadays they are made from nylon or polyester fabrics, stuffed with floating substances. They have to be bright colored with reflectors. For comparison, with a life jacket, a person can survive up to 24 hours in the middle of the sea, while without, not more than 3 hours. Initially, people navigated only by stars. Then, in 1731, John Hadley, together with Thomas Godfrey, created Primitive Sextant. It is an instrument that measures the angular distance between two visible objects. In the 21st century, it is rarely used, but on the other hand, it's a good alternative for determining coordinates in a crisis situation, when none of your electronics work. Only in the 19th century, first electronic devices joined the game. The first mind-blowing discovery was a simple arc light for the lighthouses. No more open fire was used. Now technology has made remarkable strides in significantly diminishing the danger. In fact, following various types of technological advancements has become mandatory for commercial and cargo vessels. Before coming on the deck, always make sure that your shoes are clean. There is nothing more annoying than dark marks everywhere in the cockpit. Never touch anything without a captain's permission. You wouldn't like it if someone used your property without your agreement, would you? Be careful with equipment, the smallest block might cost up to 30 euros. Constantly listen to given instructions, it can irritate the whole crew if wrong movements are done. Without exception, perform your duties to the best of your conscience. It can affect safety. Most accidents happen just because of irresponsibility. And, most importantly, discuss all decisions with your team. Arbitrary behavior is unacceptable at sea. If you will note those regulations, there should not appear any problems. To start boating, you don't always need a special license for pleasure boats. You can begin as part of a boat crew and learn from the experienced captain. Different countries have different rules for who can be a captain, but having a license doesn't relieve you of your responsibility. A captain's experience matters a lot, and you can keep track of your own experience using skippercheck.net. This website makes it easy to record your progress and share it with others. Skippercheck.net also offers a course to learn how to use a VHF radio on boats. When you finish the course, you'll get a certificate to show your knowledge, which can be helpful if you want to rent a boat. This knowledge can also make it easier to get an official boating license. Please tell us in the comments where you're from and what the rules are in your country. This information can be useful for anyone interested in boating. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more content like this, comment down below and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Also, be sure to check out our website at skippercheck.net. See you in the next video.